Today we are going to discuss another basic yet very important thing in electrical engineering that is power factor. We normally come across power factor in each and every subject almost but we don't really understand what exactly power factor means. We think power factor means cos phi is a power factor. Somebody is asking you what is power factor, you will simply say cos phi. But it is not actually true. We will discuss in this video what exactly is power factor and how is it different from efficiency. Let's get started. Okay. Let me take a powerhouse where we generate electricity. Okay. Here we are generating a voltage of 10 volts and we are giving that to a load through transmission line we are supplying to the loads. Why we have powerhouse here? To give power to the loads. So let's suppose this powerhouse is supplying 1 ampere current for simplicity. I am taking here RMS values. We know power means voltage into current that is a basic definition. So it seems this powerhouse is giving 10 units of power because voltage into current which is 10, 10 units of power it is giving to the load. It seems, okay, don't just freeze it at, for the time being powerhouse is delivering how much power? 10 units of power. Here that unit may be any unit, I am not talking about that unit, okay. Yeah, for a better understanding of this concept, I would like to compare this with our day to day life activity which is e-commerce site, online shopping, okay. I think we are most familiar with this online shopping than this power factor or power system layout. So I would like to compare this with that so that we will understand the concept in a much better way. Okay. So this e-commerce site is there and it is selling the goods to the consumers through some delivery services. So there is, there is a similarity between these two, powerhouse, this online shopping site and load and consumers, delivery services, transmission distribution. It is just the similar. Okay. Now let me analyze different type of loads, the quality of different type of loads with respect to the source. Now once again I am emphasizing here, here we are now going to analyze the quality of different types of loads with respect to the source. Okay, let us get to that. Let me consider a pure inductive load case which is one type of load. So we know for inductor, if I give a sinusoidal voltage which is black color, current is also of sinusoidal nature but it is shifted by 90 degrees, that is what you could see here. And power is a multiplication of voltage and current. So if I multiply these two, we got power which is of this nature. Now what do you understand here? During this time period, power is positive and in this span, power is negative. So what does it mean? During this span, power is transferred from the powerhouse to the load and in this span, power is transferred back to the source from the load. Why it is given back to source? Because we have inductor there, we have an inductor there which is storing the energy in this span and returning back to the source in this span, alright. Now if I compare the same with our e-commerce site, Amazon. So I ordered for 10 products, 10 products have come to the load, come to the consumer and that consumer has written all 10 products. So it seems Amazon has sent 10 products to you, apparently it seems Amazon has sent 10 products to you but in a true sense, in a true sense how many products have come to you? 10 has come of course, you return all those 10. So in a true sense, zero products are successfully delivered to you. Let us take another load, another type of load. It is not pure inductive, it is RL type of load. So here negative portion is less because inductor value is less, the energy stored in inductor is less, it can be a capacitor also, I am just considering here inductor, one case. So here the energy stored in inductor is less, so that is why it has sent less energy back to source. Another type of load, it is even much less. So let me take 10 products or apparently it seems they are given to load but out of 10, 2 products you have returned, returned back to source. 
So how many products are with you now? Eight products are with you in a true sense. Okay. So how can we get this eight? 10 minus 2 simply or average of this. You take an average of this, you will get same 8. So you may call this as true value or average value. Alright. So let me take another type of load. So what we are trying to do? We are trying to analyze the quality of the load with respect to the source. I am considering another type of load which is a pure resistive load who is another customer of that online site. So if I multiply these two, I get only positive power. Means out of 10 products which is delivered by Amazon, he has received all the products. He has not returned even a single product. Okay. So let me take uh, this person is Shaker. It's me. Okay. And uh, he is doing good here. He has not returned even a single product. So who is Shaker's friend? whose name is also Shaker, okay, because he is doing good, right? All right, so let's take another person, okay. He has ordered 12 products, 12, 12 products have come to here. Out of 12, he has returned 3, he has retained only 9 products. So, Shaker's friend, again, but not Shaker, this time Prakash, okay. Another person, okay. Ramesh, Shaker's another friend, okay, another person, oh nice, more number of orders, so it must be a girl, and of course more number of returns as well, so it's my girlfriend, okay, Shaker's girlfriend, good. Now another user, oh it's even more, 45 number of orders in a month, yeah it's a good girl, she's a good girl, because she has returned only three products return. So let me change my girlfriend. Okay, she's not, she's no more my girlfriend now. She's my girlfriend. Uh, she's some ex. Let's leave her. Anyways, coming to the point, what I said is, here we are going to judge the quality of the user with respect to the source. How you are going to judge? Of course, it's top rated out of 10, he has received all the products, the best. Who is next? It seems Ramesh is next because he has written only one product. It seems, okay? And who can be next? Uh, it seems it's quite difficult to judge the quality of the, or it's quite difficult to uh, give a rating based on these numbers. So how can I give a rating in a good manner? By taking simply a ratio of these two. So if I take ratio of these two, now by looking at these figures, it is quite clearly understood that who is best and who is next. So he is first, number one. Next, we thought this is the second person, but this is the second person. And it's three, number three, number four, number five, and it's six. My x is six. Okay. Yeah, so what you understand is, by just taking ratio of these two, we get a figure, that figure will be helping us, helping the, you know, source to understand the quality of the load, okay, on basis of returns. So this is what we'll call it as a power factor, okay. What is power factor? It is true value or average value, which is represented by letter P, Apparent power, source is thinking it is sending 10 units of power, but it's not actually sending 10 units, it is only sending 8 or maybe something else. So let me take it as apparent power, I am representing with S. Now, power factor is a measure or a figure of merit to understand the quality of the load with respect to the source. I hope. You understand what is meant by power factor, which is the ratio of active power, you may call this as active power also, average power, true power, real power, there are different names for this. Ratio of active power to the apparent power. In some cases, of course in most of the cases which is sinusoidal, where we have a sinusoidal voltage and sinusoidal currents, 
this turns out to be cos phi because P is equal to Vi cos phi for a sinusoidal voltage and currents and S is always V into I. This turns out to be cos phi. But if the signal is non-sinusoidal, this is no more valid. Okay, but this is always valid. So when somebody is asking you what is power factor, don't ever say it is cos phi. That's not the exact definition. When somebody is asking, you should say it is the ratio of active power to the yes apparent power. Very good. Now, how is it different from efficiency? I hope I don't have to explain further because you might have understood already. So, eight units of power has reached to our machine. Out of eight units, some losses are there, maybe mechanical losses, copper losses, magnetic losses, what are the losses? Some losses are there. Output is only uh, four units. Four units are lost in between. So, how efficient is this load in utilizing this in eight units of power? That's what simply output by input. Percentage efficiency if you want into 100. 50% efficient. In the last video, I discussed about this topic that is on a wall socket on which side you will have phase and which side you will have neutral. I said on to the right we will have phase and to the left we will have neutral. Of course, I have given a logic to remember this because we quite often forget this. I have given a logic how to remember this. I have a different logic now. I am just giving a different logic. Uh, right is having 5 letters. Phase is also having 5 letters. So, you know, right side phase. You can remember this way. Any logic. Because earlier logic, most of you are misinterpreting. I hope you understand the lecture. Please hit the like button and do share the videos with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such a kind of videos. Thank you.